Hello and welcome to Tallinn, the beautiful capital of Estonia. In today's video we will talk about the city's tram network. The tram system of Tallinn is the only tram system of Estonia, and it forms the backbone of the city's transit system. The network is about to be expanded, and will also become an important international link. Let's dive into this small but exciting network. The tram network has quite a long history. A horse-drawn tram line started operating in Tallinn in 1888, when the city was still known as Reval. This tram had a gauge of 1067 mm, which is also the current gauge of the trams in Tallinn. This was later joined by a steam tram transporting workers from the city centre to the industrial district of Kopli. This line was built by a major shipyard located there. The steam tram used the 1524mm gauge, the older version of the Russian standard gauge. From 1925, electric tram operations were started in Tallinn, on the formerly Holstrom line. A couple of years later, the line to Kopli was regaged to correspond with the 1067mm network. But with the arrival of World War II and the following annexation by the Soviet Union, the expansion and improvement of the tram network were paused. In the 1950s, the network saw some small improvements, by constructing a second track on the Kopli section, as well as an extension to Ulemiste. And after Estonia regained its independence, the network saw an extension to the airport. Also, from 2014 till the end of 2017, most of the tram network was reconstructed and modernized. This brings us to the network nowadays. The tram network of Tallinn consists of four lines, which are mostly interlined across 42.8 km of track. All lines are double track. There are two depots on the network and trams tend to operate on the 10 minute headway. Due to its interlining, this creates a 5 minute headway on the interlined section. The network has a 1067mm gauge, which allows for tight curves, which is a capability that is well used in a few locations. The network is powered by 600V DC overhead wires. And showing you on the map, the network looks like this. Line 1, Kopli, Kadriog. Line 2, Kopli Surpala. Line 3, Tondi Kadriok. And finally, line 4, from Tondi to the airport. All the lines meet at Hoboyama, a stop that is located to the east of the old town, near the shopping mall Virukeskus. Virukeskus is also a major hub for the bus network of Tallinn. As told before, there are two tram depots in Tallinn, one being located along Pernumante and one in Kopli. The tram currently provides connections to Baltiam, the main railway station of Tallinn, on line 1 and 2. Tallinn Airport is located at the end of Line 4, and the intercity bus station can be found along Line 2 and 4. The tram is also connected to smaller stations like Ulemiste on Line 4 and Tondi, the endpoint of Line 3 and 4. The ferry terminal has yet to see a direct tram connection, but later in the video, more about this. And so, what's up with the use of the network? The tram network is used by tens of millions of people on a yearly basis, coming close to a ridership of 30 million in 2019, which would average about 82,000 passengers a day. The ridership dropped sharply in 2020, due to the pandemic, to a level of 17.2 million passengers. This resulted in a ridership of about 47,000 passengers a day. At the time of recording, the annual report on 2021 has yet to be published. A very interesting fact is that the public transport in Tallinn has been free for the city's residents since 2013, in a bid to reduce car traffic in the city and keep public transport affordable for the citizens. Due to this, the ridership has somewhat increased, and the public transport has gained a better image. 
On top of that, it allows for mobility of the less fortunate and lowered the transport costs for businesses and people. And all these people use some very nice vehicles. Tallinn has, as many other countries of the former Eastern Bloc, many trams produced by the Czech manufacturer Tatra. The KT4 of Tatra is the most common type of the fleet. These can either be second-hand from German cities as well as new deliveries. Some are still in their original state, being two-car with an older interior and exterior. Also, there is a subtype KT6, which is an extended version of the KT4. In order to expand the capacity, as well as to provide accessibility, the original KT4 got extended with the semi-low floor middle car. On top of that, Tallinn has done a custom rebuild of the KT4, making some of the nicest, air quotes, classic trams I have encountered. Tallinn received a new tram in 2014, with the arrival of the Kaf Urbos AXL, which is the most modern type of the fleet. These trams were part of a deal in which Estonia sold some carbon emission rights to Spain. The Kaf Urbos have a few design flaws, with the light sway during braking, as well as exceptionally loud motor sounds. The loud noises appear to be a result of the need for traction converters. These trams are fully low 4. And now we have come to perhaps the most exciting part of the network. Its future. And it appears to be very bright, as Tallinn is fully committed to its tram network. A new line will be constructed which will connect the ferry terminal of Tallinn to the network. The works on this line should be completed by the summer of 2024. This line will connect many transport hubs in Tallinn, as the line is aimed to connect the airport, the ferry terminal and a new railway station of Ulemiste, which will form the end of the Real Baltica high-speed line. This makes the tram line also vital on international transport itineraries. Additionally, study for further extensions of the tram network to Pelgurana, as well as the district of Lasname, are underway. The fleet is about to be expanded with a new type of tram, the Pesa Twist. Tallinn sought to expand its fleet and will do so with 23 trams of this type, which should arrive throughout 2024 and 2025. And in conclusion, the Tallinn tram is a network that got investment and plays a vital role to provide mobility in the Estonian capital. The city is modernizing quickly and the tram plays an important role in the years to come. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to see you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date. Thank you for watching.